So Commercient has built in a dealer portal. The dealer portal can be used without Salesforce and then later on you add Salesforce if you ever want it. So when a customer logs into the dealer portal, first thing is that they can be using any device that they want. The next thing is you need to be able to control the look and feel of the site. I'm showing you a grid view layout where you may want to show photographs, information pricing, warehouse information, and you might like this layout. You may decide, you know what? This is a dealer portal. The dealers don't need to waste their time with photographs, and I don't feel like uploading photographs, so I prefer to give them a data view. It just simplifies things a little bit. You can categorize your products. Down the left-hand side, you see I've created some different categories, boys' bikes, girls' bikes, helmets, etc. A100 stock code from CISPRO. Click on that, and you'll get taken to the actual detail page. You've got your stock code, A100. You've got your big photograph. You can have a photo strip going across the top with many photos. You can add extensive descriptive information. Here's an example of another chart of data that you can put into your product detail pages. If we just go back a page to our actual product listing, if we want to know about stock availability, you can, you can just simply give people the indication that this is in stock or out of stock. If they click on the button, if you want them to see more detail, you can allow them. You don't have to show them this detail. So we're looking at the inventory of the items. Everything is searchable. All of those discounts and pricing structures in CISPRO are built into this calculation system. So if you go to CISPRO and you change the price, it'll change on the internet. You don't have to push data. It's always reading your data, looking for changes. You can allow people to choose a warehouse if you wish. Same thing with units of measure. Adding an item to the order is as simple as clicking on add. You can control the captions of every single element on the screen. There is a kitting system that will work as a kit so that if you if you add an item, I think I'm going to pick one of this, this A111 says to me, hey, you're adding the bicycle, do you want to add the matching helmet? So it's filtered down the stock codes that it wants to give me. I'll say yes, I'll take the first one and it'll automatically add all of the other items that are designated as auto adds. So if I go to my cart, you'll see that I've got that first bicycle I added by hand, there's the second bike, there's the helmet, and it automatically added some other kit items. Your dealers or your salespeople can apply discounts. You can do it on percentage or fixed value. You can also put in limits if you want. We can continue to the checkout slash save quote screen. Going to the top, you'll see that I have a bill to and a ship to. If there are multiple ship to's, it'll have the multi ship to. If somebody wants to edit the ship to's, you can allow or disallow. It also does Google searching to help you type in your addresses faster. So if I go 509, there it is there. That's my address and it fills in the fields for me. There are some nice little nifty features that we've done extra integration to services like Google for. As we go through the rest of the order cycle, if you want automatic freight calculation uh, online with Canada Post, DHL, UPS, FedEx, United States Postal Service, whoever you're using, we cover over 60 different carriers. If you've got the weights of the products stored in CISPRO somewhere, we can get a shipping price using your accounts and the shipping rate will be calculated from your warehouse to the customer's ship to. It'll quote the customer an actual shipping rate based on the weights, the destination, and your rules. You can also have a calendar picker where the customer says to you, I need this on mid-August, and you put in the actual date. Or you can make these any kind of notes you want. They're going to email people and show up on the sales order as notes. Your dealer can, if he's ready to check out, he can either check out on his AR account, which means that you're going to ship the product and then invoice him later, or he can check out on credit card. And this will do a real-time credit card authorization. It's uh, PCI compliant, and it also does level three validation with the credit card company, which can get you discounts from your card processor. And then we come to the final part of checking out. and Simply click on checkout and the order is committed. And this is all running in the cloud. This will actually go down to CISPRO and get imported. The administrator of your system would need to be able to check on the order statuses. You've got your administrative tools for the IT administration. Your salesforce.com configuration is done through here. Your sync manager is here where you, you can download your sync agent. You can also create a workday calendar if you wanted. We utilize the Google Calendar because it actually has all the public holidays built in. You just authenticate to your company Google Calendar and it keeps it up to date. You can set it up so that the automatic security with the salesperson code. You can set it up so that you you can see every customer or for a dealer you would set it up so that he can only see his own account. You have a sync services dashboard that shows you that your services are running. It gives you updates on new versions available. Anybody can sign yourself up for notifications and you can then tell the system how to notify you by email 
or by text message. If you ever need to look at error logs, you can do so here. You've got the sales order logs, which is a full history of what happened to all the sales orders. And then there's a dashboard that just gives you indications of the status of the syncs. We have a language manager. The language manager can even translate your product descriptions, or you can provide language translations for your product descriptions. Theme manager, you have the ability to set up multiple themes. You can manage your background images. You can set the themes to different roles. You have a menu manager to control what's in the menu for the end customer. So to add an item, right click and add, edit, cancel. Here's where you set up all your users and you give them different roles. There's over a thousand different settings in the system that you can turn on and off. If you're ever looking for one, you can just search for it. So everything is easily found. Stock codes are managed here. For SEO purposes, you can assign specific URLs, you can give a narratives. You can also associate one product with one or more other products. I think I've shown you the breadth of the system. This is the process you go through to set it up. There's about six steps, so it's pretty easily defined. You set up your products into catalogs. You decide whether to add more descriptions and more images. You organize a menu for the end users, like this one I've shown on the left. Then you start to add a couple of users. You invite internal people to look at the system, try it out, process an order, check it in SysPro, and then you can refine little things like change captions on the screens as you wish. And then finally, you could, if you want to, review all the thousand settings just to double check you didn't miss anything of interest.